All right, boys, we got a lot to get into today, including the race to world first, which is now going to be, you know, not including method. We'll talk a little bit about that. We've got class guides to get into. We've got, uh, you know, rating guides. We got mythic plus, mythic, heroic. We're going to talk about all that stuff. We got different, uh, what is it called, tier rankings of the different classes when it comes to mythic and raid. We're going to talk a lot about this stuff today, so get ready. It's going to be a big news day, but first off, right off the bat, Blizzard laying down the ban hammer. That is right. The ban hammer coming down hard on anybody who exploited reputation gains. And that anybody included multiple members from Method. That's right. So they're getting a four-day ban in probably what is the most important week in the race to World First, the week before the Mythic Raid opens. Blizzard did lay the ban hammer. Four-day bans going out to anybody who exploited reputation gains early on in the War Within. Uh, unfortunate for them, but hey, you know, you play with fire. Sometimes you're going to get burned, and these people done got burned so that uh that stinks for them but like i said um they will we'll see if they recover uh, the race to world first certainly affected by this oh hey interrupting the news welcome in we're sitting here in the dornagal inn just drinking some dornagal drinks sitting by the dornagal fire man with some dornagal music in the background doesn't get much better than this guys I'm streaming here on Twitch, as I always do, and uh, this week Raid opens up, and we're going to be doing what we always do when Raid opens up, and that's inviting everybody from chat to go in and kill some bosses. It's what we do best around here. So if you want to Raid with us, come on in, be part of that little black box in the corner, the most degenerative chat around, and uh, join us for sure. Yeah, the laughing in the background, too. Should be a good time, boys and girls. Come on in. Samicus at Twitch. Thanks. Now, looking further on for those peasants out there like us who are not mythically raiding at cutting edge, um, we got class guides up. This is a comprehensive class guide for every single class, including what is going to be your best in slot, your best specs, and everything else. There's a lot of people out there who still need this information. Here it is for me, Blood DK, looking at some of the stuff that I'm going to want to get from Raid. Um, of course, there's going to be some crafting items in here as well, some different things that you're going to be, you know, gathering up for whether it's Mythic Plus, Raiding, Crafting. There's multiple ways to gear out in this game if you don't know, and uh, you're going to want to kind of know some of this stuff. So this is going to be linked down below in the video and here in the chat. You guys can go ahead and get that if you want to get it. Moving on to the best ways to gear right now. Because it is important. Now, this week is different than next week. you got to remember, this week we're getting Heroics um, uh, item level boost. We'll talk a little bit about that. We're getting Mythic nothing. Just Mythic Dungeons. Not Mythic Plus. you got to remember that. That's not till next week. We're getting the opening of the raid in the first wing of LFR. So these are all things you're going to be wanting to doing this week if you want to really keep up and push hard towards uh, next week, which is really the opening of everything else, including Mythic Raiding. But here it is. So the first week of Narubar Palace, Raid Finder opens up. So LFR opens up. Now people will say, oh, it's for noobs. Not this week. Not this week. You're probably going to want to do LFR. There is actually one really good piece of gear that some people are going to want, especially from this first wing opening. Very important item for a lot of people. It is actually a rare item that could drop at 600 item level. That's a big boy item. One of the ultra rare, one of the very rares. So odds are you won't get it. But hey, get an LFR and give it a shot. Maybe you're one of the lucky few who actually get it this week. Beyond that, Heroic Dungeons, as I said, 580 gear. Mythic Dungeons this week will be dropping 593 item level at the end of the dungeon. Remember, you're going to be filling up your vault this week as well. So end of the dungeon, 593. You'll be getting higher than that from your vault. And then Bountiful Delves, tier 3 drops 571. But you can pump it up all the way to heroic level raid gear if you're doing up to level 8 delves. We'll talk more about delves later, of course. But um, interesting stuff coming from all of this. Different ways to gear out. And again, don't think you're too good for LFR. At least not this week. You need to do it, for sure. Moving on, heroic and mythic dungeons to feature mythic plus dungeon rotation for season one. We already know this. The mythic plus dungeon rotation is going to be Arakara, City of Echoes, uh, Stone Vault, Dawnbreaker, City of Threads, and the rotation will enter four old dungeons. We got Missa Tyrannocyte, Necrotic Wake, Siege of Boralus, and Grim Batol. Now, uh, for to, to do these, you're going to want to do them this week because your vault will finally open next week for the first time in this season. Uh, heroic dungeons will unlock vault slots at 593 item level. Doing your mythic dungeons will give you 603 item level in your vault. So uh, again, get these done, as many as you can, up to 8 of these to unlock all 4 slots of your vault. Um, uh, 603 from mythic, 593 from heroic. And again, heroic is already bumped up to 580 at the end of the dungeon, 593 from mythic. Uh, best gear can also come from crafting, believe it or not. I don't participate in the crafting system, but 
you know, it's still good to do it because it does give you some best in slot gear for certain people. This is a little guide here. I'll link it in the chat and down below as well for the YouTube video. Uh, important stuff to know where you can get some of your biz gear for crafting. I know blood DK, yes, the wrists I know are important. We got waist and uh, two-handed sword, very interesting, something pretty good from, uh, from crafting as well. So these are all the different crafting slots that you could fill up. Uh, crafting gear can be very high item level, I think 561 right now. Some people are crafting at that, and it's going to go beyond that, of course. You're going to want to get your Spark of Omens. Right now, the first one, you can get it by just completing a little quest in Dornagal. It's very quickly done. You get two Fractured uh, Sparks of Omen, you combine them and get your Spark of Omen, and that's what will give you the higher item level crafted gear. So you're going to want to do that, get that done. And then, of course, this week, when the kickoff of Season 1, you'll be able to get your second Spark of Omen, giving you your second piece of crafting gear. So you can essentially have, if you're on point, two pieces of high item level crafted gear sl slotted in your character. Now, uh, moving on to some interesting stuff here. We got our tier lists. Now, tier lists, just take it with a grain of salt. Because most of us are not rating at the level where a tier list matters, okay? Tier list is going to affect, like, the top 0.1% of players. Most of the time, tier lists don't matter because at a heroic level of rating or mythic plusing at, you know, whatever, if you're not doing 25 plus... Um, it doesn't matter because really it comes down to the player's skill because player skill varies so much beyond just cutting edge mythic rating. So uh, again, take this with a grain of salt. Don't just not invite people because they're not S tier. Uh, but here it is, the tier list. This is for mythic uh, plus. So take this in. We're going to look at this line by line here. And here it is. We got our A tier. Nobody's an S tier, which is interesting. But here it is, your A tier for DPS rankings. You got Augmentation Evoker, Frost DK, Arcane Mage, Ass Ass Rogue, Enhancement Shaman, and Elemental Shaman. You guys are going to notice a theme here. Shamans are in a really freaking good spot. And I'm happy for them. It's good. It's a good thing. Uh, shamans have been hurting for quite a while, and I feel like now they're finally, you know, at the forefront in terms of it, at least damage. And we'll see some other things from them. Uh, tell me what, what biz is. Best in slot. What are you talking about? Yeah, my best in slot weapon actually drops from the raid. Uh, interesting in luck, but we'll get there. Uh, B plus, here it is. Affliction Warlock, Frost Mage, Sub Titty Rogue, Havoc Demon Hunter, Furry Warrior, and Unholy DK and Survival Hunter. DKs are also in a very good spot. You heard me right. It's Furry Warrior. That's the people who play that class. Um, Survival Hunter looking pretty good. That's the first Hunter spec we've seen here. Uh, Rogues also got two in the A and B plus tier. So that's nice. Affliction Warlock. That's our first Warlock spec we've seen here. And Mage also got two in the first A and B plus tier. Mages are in a good spot. Uh, B minus. We got Shadow Priest, Marksmanship Hunter, Balanced Druid, Windwalker Monk, Arms Warrior, and Demonology Warlock. Yes, a couple other, uh, we got another Warlock spec, Hunter spec in here. This is the Druid, the first Druid spec that we see on uh, on our DPS tier list. And Monk, you know, the Red-Headed Stepchild of WoW, what can we say? That's their first one here at B-. Uh, where the Pally's at? Yeah, a very good question. I don't know, I've been seeing them pop up, but look at that. C ranking for Mythic Plus Retribution Paladin. There they are. A Feral Druid, Outlaw Rogue, Destro Warlock, and Devastation Evoker. Now, this is why I say take it with a grain of salt, guys. Because me, personally, the groups that I've had for Mythic... Uh, not Mythic Plus, but just Heroic Dungeons as of now. Retribution Paladins have been pumping. It's crazy how much they've been doing damage. So, uh, you know, it, because a lot of good players maybe are playing Paladin. Maybe I've just been pairing up with the right guys. But again, these tier lists are basically, if you are maxed out, biz slot gear, everything is even across the board. This is where the DPS will lay out. And mind you, the DPS numbers between a Frost, DK, and a Retribution Paladin are very minimal. But you gotta rank them in some way. So when you're geared it out completely and you've ranked them out perfectly and you're just sitting there pumping and you know, doing all your shit uninterrupted, this is how it lays out. But again, take it with a grain of salt. Just invite the shit and invite people who are good. That's what matters. And then here we go, D. Beast Mastery Hunter and Fire Mage. I don't know what the hell happened to Fire Mage, but everybody knows Arcane's top right now for Mages and Beast Mastery Hunter. Uh, those everybody knows people who play Beast Mastery Hunter actually like bestiality, so it's okay that they're D right now. So we'll move on from there. Uh, healer rankings. Oh, what the hell? Okay, healer rankings. Here they are. Uh, first slot, S tier healers. We got Restoration Shaman, Preservation Evoker. Yes, as I said before, a common theme. Shamans. Look at that. They got. Two specs sitting up here in A for DPS, and then their healing spec is S tier. It's a good time to be a shaman. It really is. It's a it's a it's a good time to be a shaman. Finally, they are getting some of the love 
they truly deserve. And they even got their new uh, form where they basically turn into an elemental water, fire, or earth. It's pretty cool. Um, moving on, A. Why does that keep happening? Because I'm switching screens, I guess. Okay, A tier. Holy Paladin, Mistweaver Monk, okay? Holy Paladin, I've, I've been with a couple of them pretty good. And Mistweaver Monk, yeah, it's pretty good. Good um, AoE heals and group heals coming from Mistweaver Monk for sure. And then B tier, Restoration Druid, Holy Priest, and Discipline Priest. Oh, wow. Priests both sides are B tier right now. Interesting to see. I'm sure for raiding, Discipline Priest, you're going to want to bring one. But again, this is Mythic Plus. you got five choices. Uh, these are the ones that you can make. And then beyond that, everyone's kind of falling off. So no bad healers. That's what you can get from this chart, really, is there are currently no class or a spec of healer that's really bad just bring one and you'll be fine honestly beggars can't be choosers when it comes to healers anyways good luck finding one most of the time moving on to tank rankings here we go the one that i care about the most as a blood dk main let's see what they are Ooh, guardian and vengeance a tier a uh, vengeance carrying over from uh, dragonflight where they were a tier most of the time anyways yes vengeance demon hunter of course they're so quick so mobile so nimble and so sassy, I guess. You know, they're, they're, of course, they are quick tanks, very mobile tanks, and good at pulling pulls after pull after pull, Mythic Plus. So, yeah. And then you got Guardian Druid, you know, the one-click tank, just swiping. That's what they do, of course. They don't take the skill that a Blood DK takes. They're coming in at B. Yeah, Blood DK coming in, the unkillable, the unfathomable, the godlike players that play Blood DKs. Welcome in. You are now B tier with me. And then we got Prop Warrior, our fellow tanks here sitting at B as well. And then C tier, Prot Paladin and Brewmaster Monk. Uh, again, C is the lowest. There really aren't any bad tanks right now. I don't think any of these tanks are in horrible spots. Brewmaster, I have seen their health kind of, you know, pops around quite a bit more than makes you know than, than you prefer. But uh, this is where they currently sit. Again, just invite a good player. That's the most important thing. Uh, moving on to the same rankings, but let's look at the raid, boys. That's right. Let's check out raid rankings for tier set tier list here. And here we go, starting out with S tier DPS. Yeah, Arcane Mage, no surprise, and Augmentation Evoker, same as what we just saw for Mythic Plus. Yeah, they're going to pop off. Arcane Mage is going to pop off big time. Uh, they're very good. And uh, Augmentation Evoker, the augmentation of the group. For a raid, yeah, it's a ton of DPS. When you give them that DPS added on top of what they already do, yeah, augmentation is going to be something that you're going to almost require to bring to every single raid. Moving on to uh, A tier here, we got shamans living the life. Enhancement shaman A tier, furry warrior here at A, and then elemental shaman as well. So you got shamans, again, just living a good time, having a good time. B tier, here we go, bunch and B. We got Frost DK, Havoc Demon Hunter, Outlaw Rogue, Sub Titty Rogue, Ass Ass Rogue, Arms Warrior, Frost Mage, Demonology Warlock, Affliction Warlock, Shadow Priest, and Wind Walker Monk. Big grouping of players here. Um, it's it's ex expected that most most guys are going to fall in the B tier, and these are going to all get invited to raid, of course, as all of these should. Again, when it comes to raid, especially if you're not mythic raiding trying to get world first i mean come on just invite the damn dps have a variety that's what matters but otherwise just invite the dps that q and look pretty good uh c tier here we have feral druid beast mastery hunter uh devastation evoker marksmanship hunter survival hunter unholy dk and fire mage now again i've seen unholy dk's pump at what i would consider to be an s tier but here they are at c uh, same with frost i've seen frost pump at an s tier here they are at b but um this is your C-tier rankings. It looks like all the Hunter specs, there is really isn't a best between the three. Kind of just pick one if you want to go raid, but uh, here they are, all three sitting in tier and uh, C-tier. And then uh, we got our first uh, Druid here and C as well. So there it is. And then uh, D-tier, Destro Warlock, Balanced Druid, Retribution Paladin. I don't know what's going on with Rhett. Maybe because they're getting the judgment set. Blizzard's like, we can't give them judgment and make them S-tier DPS at the same time. It just wouldn't be fair. Everyone would play with Paladin then. So uh, here they are. And again, I've seen Paladins pump plenty fine. Uh, so even though they're ranked D here, you can still invite them to your rates. Don't you worry. Okay, healing rankings. Here we go. Preservation Evoker. Man, Evoker's good right now. Evoker looking real good right now. They are at the top of like every chart. So here it is. Preservation Evoker sitting alone in S tier all by themselves. Mistweaver Monk. The only one sitting in A tier. So we got S and A. Wow. Preservation and Mistweaver Monks sitting all by themselves at the top of the charts. And here we go. B tier. Restoration Shaman, Resto Druid, and Holy Paladin. Again, 
When it comes to healers, you can pretend like you're going to use this shark. But we all know you're going to invite who the hell queues up because there just aren't a lot of healers these days. C tier, Disciplined Priest and Holy Priest, and then nobody's sitting at D. Yep, take the healing chart as you may. You got to invite whoever the hell queues, all right? Don't act like you can sit here and pick. Okay, tanking rankings. The most important rankings, the rankings that matter most. As you know, your tank is your leader, your holder of aggro, your, your preserver of the raid, and your undisputed champion. Here it is. Who is it? S tier, nobody. A tier, there they are. Blood Decay sitting at the top where they belong. That's right. The unkillable. The godlike players. The Blood Decays. Here we are. Blood Decay sitting at A tier. The best tanks for raid. And then B tier, we got Guardian, Druid, Brewmaster Monk, Vengeance Demon Hunter, Prop Warrior. And then beneath them, what are we waiting on? Prop Paladin. That's right. So uh, not a lot of separation here between most of them. They're sitting at B, -er, at B tier. But uh, Blood Decay sitting at the very top. Sam... That is not top S is. Okay, I understand, but nobody's S tier. And when they do that, by the way, that just means there isn't a lot of separation. So, I mean, again, look at these charts. Understand what they mean. This doesn't mean you don't invite prop paladins to your raids. It just means that, um, you know, everything when it's all equal. Okay, these guys are a little bit better than these guys. Odds are they won't be equal because player, you know, player skill really does contribute a lot more to this than these charts do. But here it is, you know, I'll just take it in and then soak it in. Yes, we are A tier right now. The only one sitting at the top of the tanking mountain. And that is all in terms of news.